Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. I bought more Lego, so we're going to do an unboxing of just the, of the sets. Uh, I'm not going to do the build of these in this video because it's two larger sets that may take me some time to build. Plus, one of them I know, uh, based on the description, has broken parts that I'm actually have another order coming that's going to be for the replacement parts. And then I got to verify the in inventory, make sure it's actually complete. But we're going to show it to you now. All right, and also getting ready, we'll be filming <clears throat> a full podcast a little later today, but this one that'll air in a couple of weeks, basically. But um, So yeah, we got a couple of BrickLink orders, and we'll start with the smaller package first. And this is one I'm going to hope that what's in here is not broken. <laughs> uh, I, th I really <clears throat> think that in a recent haul... I broke something after the fact because I didn't take care of it good enough after I opened it. And so we're going to see if these are these are my replacements for that as I'm working on completing some vintage sets from the Lego Land theme. All right. And let's see. These are boat holes. They don't appear to be broken. All right, let me take them out of here. So it was the red ones for sure that were broken. I had a whole bunch of broken ones. I don't care about the yellowing. Yellowing can be ignored, but the brakes couldn't. So there's two places they were breaking. Usually these corners break off, and then underside of here would break too, where the connection is. So these, they don't appear to be re-glued back together. So this is, you can break them, taking them apart. <laughs> that one's got a stress fracture on it right there. I bought uh, several of them. I, I don't think I needed six, but just in case, you know, some of these came broken, <laughs> I bought extra. So I should be able to complete all of the sets that have that type of boat hole in it. And then I did um, finish building. I glued the blue ones. And these were only in one set that was uh, in stores. The other set that had these was a Lego education set. Now these blues are a little yellowed, which is, it's not uncommon for that era for those blues. And there's nothing you can do to fix it. In fact, in the background here, the, the ambulance, I was going to see, talk about this, the doors on this in the A Full podcast, but... Um, I just, right now I'm just going to talk about the yellowing. That's one that I've repaired twice, and it's back to yellow. So, yeah, the uh, any tutorial I've done, or you've seen anybody else do, uh, you just do it for when you want to take pictures of it, because it will go back, <laughs> or at least in my experience with that, it'll go back to um, that. It'll go back to being yellowed again. Maybe I should hold it closer. I, I've, I've been in a habit of showing y'all stuff from far away. See, this is white. That's yellowed. Uh, and when I did the video, it looked like this one. These are two different sets, actually. But uh, it, it looked like this pretty much when I got done. Uh, but now it's back. I, I think I did it. Maybe I only did it once. Um, all right. And then the rest of the stuff in here. Let's see what else we got. Anything important? Look. Tipper truck parts. Clock to a train station. Uh, tipper truck part. Red dualies. This is one of those tractor pieces, one of those Lego pieces that people throw away. Oh, look, I bought some more blue rails. I hadn't done that in a while. And I, yeah, I think this all started with the boat holes, and I just kept adding stuff that didn't increase the shipping charges. <laughs> so um, now I guess you gotta make sure I don't I'm put these to the side and make sure I don't break them. So I'm going to take these over to the section with uh, the vintage stuff that I'm working on. Uh, you won't see it in this video. All right, so now the good stuff. So there's a video or two on this channel, and I would ne I've got over 4,000 videos, probably close to 4,400 videos on this channel. I've made more than that. I've deleted some videos. I've privated a lot. Not a lot. I've uh, privated or unlisted a lot. But anyway, in a couple of these videos. I wish I could find them. I talked about a set that I thought I had or mentioned it. And I've been looking for it <laughs> and I never could find it. So pretty much I, I, I don't have it. You know what the set is? 
I hope this isn't broken. It involves this base plate, and then we're gonna. And I think I got this base plate somewhere. Uh, I need to wash this. But yeah, so you know what the set is now, don't you? Good, the base plate isn't broken, it's just dirty. Yeah, it's the uh, Fabuland Carousel. No, that's not it. But yeah, that's what, this is the other set. It's a Fabuland. Oh, this is one of my top wanted list items. That's a, those are all from one set, those Fabuland parts there. There's more Fabuland parts. Uh, these are not Fabuland parts. These are pirate parts. They, why did they not put these in like the same bag or something? They get it all mixed up. They got everything sorted by color. You can tell what set it is. Uh, this one. Now we got to figure out what set everything. Okay, that goes to the pirate set. Set that to the side. This goes to the Fabuland set. There's. Oh God, he just threw the instructions in there. All right. Yeah, El Dorado Fortress. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, these go to El Dorado Fortress. These go to the Fabuland set. There's our instructions for our Fabuland set. It's a amusement part. There's our minifigure. So he said in the description that the flags were broken, so I ordered a whole bunch of flags. <laughs> go with that. I'm not even sure how many flags are in there. Uh, this is separate. This is a Fabuland keychain. The elephant keychain. I got that. And let's see what else we have. Those, those go to the castle set. All these peanuts. That probably goes to the Fabuland set. Now I'm going to pull this box to the side. It's from JBF Toys and Trains. So I went there for the uh, El Dorado Fortress and came away with the Fabuland set. Boy, I tell you what, when you set all these pieces here, it doesn't look like a lot of parts for the El Dorado Fortress. But um, I'm probably going to wash this. This El Dorado Fortress parts. I'm not going to do the, the treatment because I don't think it'll work. I, I see in some of these look a little... Yeah, they don't look that great as far as... I mean, they don't look chewed up, but they look discolored. A little discolored. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Hopefully, I hope there's no, like, major expensive part that's missing. <laughs> uh, and the reason I'm not going to film it for this video i'm just going to go ahead and upload this video as it is because i i want to clean it and could be missing parts like i'm still like i said i'm still waiting on the the unbroken flags to come and hopefully all that's there for that so two of my most wanted sets and yes i bought this uh, because the other one's coming out <laughs> some people think it means things like this will go down in value i, I i'm on the other camp i think it means that things like this are going to go up in value so i wanted to get it before it became four or five hundred dollars to buy used uh so there i got it so that's all i'm going to do uh, for this little old haul i hope you enjoyed it if anybody ever finds another video of my old videos where i talk about el dorado fortress that'd be awesome but i don't expect you to go back and rewatch all my videos trying to find it <laughs> that just would be neat time stamp it if you see it see ya Let's learn about entropy. They're already sorted. They should stay sorted, right? I'll leave that one out. No. Uh, 